Okay folks, so tis the season to create seed pods for my radican orchids, also known as the epidendrum orchids and the crucifix orchid. So now that their full bloom has kind of come to a sputter, as you can see here folks, some have now begun to create their seed pods which of course looks like this. And today I wanted to give you a close look at the actual seeds that are contained within these orchid seed pods. Okay folks, so as you can see here, these are the actual seed pods and if you look close, that white powdery stuff, ooh, look at it blow away. Those are all of its thousands and thousands of seeds. So we're going to show you how it disperses from these seed pods. Ta-da! And they just blow here, there, and everywhere. Look at all this powdery stuff. That is actually its orchid seeds. Wow. So you can imagine how much orchid seeds are in here. And we're going to just go ahead and open this up just to get a better look in here. Oh my. Oh my. Do you see that? Look at all those seeds. Wow. What a wonder it would be if we could actually grow all of these seeds. Isn't it a shame that your average grower, even though it's falling all over the place, cannot grow these on a regular basis because folks to create these seedlings from the actual seeds of an orchid it actually takes a certain type of bacteria within the rainforest or the place that it originates from to create the seeds and if it doesn't get that type of bacteria it will not grow look looks like that artificial snow so, in actual reality, it really takes an expert to create these plants from seeds. Usually in a lab, dealing with flask, dealing with all sorts of chemicals, and of course your antibacterials. Yeah, it really is some kind of work to get these orchids to grow. So, it's a shame folks, but unfortunately it is very rare that orchids will grow from seed. Now there are some orchids, ground orchids, that can produce um, in a garden or you know just regularly but in most cases folks you will have an orchid that really needs a scientific lab or an expert that knows what they're doing to create this. So yeah. Well anyways folks I wanted to show you exactly what the seeds of this radican orchid looks like and now you see it and now you know this has been maria young reporting live from my orchid paradise saying to you happy growing thank you for watching and definitely stay tuned for more and here's just a very close up and this is after I've already shaken it out and you're still seeing like thousands of seeds still left. Okay, okay, you guys want to see this one too. Gosh darn it, I was going to save it for later. But since you insist, let's go ahead and just open this wide open. Come on, bust it loose here. Okay, there you go, you see it? Oh man. Look at all that powdery type of seeds just flowing from it. It's like snow in there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't that amazing? I just really wish we could grow these from seeds. Would be so awesome. But yeah, so that's a close up look at these epidendrum, radican, also known as crucifix orchids, and this is a close look at their seeds.
quite amazing. Quite amazing. It's snowing. Oh, it's snowing. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas.